Liverpool, Chris Nicholson! Yay! Comedy concert! Yay! Lovely of you to come out, ladies and gentlemen, said no one's grandparents. I, I, um... <laughs> That's about the level of the jokes, they get on board, toot toot. It, it is, um, very nice of you to come out and see a show, it's very nice of you. I don't know why you've done that, I don't know why you've left the house, it's awful out here, I hate it. Uh, none of your stuff is here. I don't like, um, I don't, I don't like leaving the house very much, mainly because I'm terrified at the moment if I leave the house, that uh, at some point someone's going to ask me to dance publicly. Now, I, I, um, I should say this, I don't like dancing, I don't like dancing, never have, never will, I hate it so much. But and th when I say that, there's a bunch of people in this room that are thinking, thank you, I also hate dancing, thank you for being a spokesperson for our people, let's organise a march or something. But there's, there's, <laughs> there's a similar sized group of people, when I say I don't like dancing, you're thinking, well I bet if we went out dancing, he would love to dance. <laughs> And those people are together. And I, 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 hate, I hate dancing, I hate it so much. And I'll go out with a bunch of my friends and I'll be sitting politely and one of them will cup up and just go, come and dance. I'm like, no, I don't really want to dance. Come and dance. And I want to, come and dance. Gets to a level where I just go, I really don't want to dance. I really don't want to. And one of them will just go, well, you used to love to dance. Like, no, I used to love pills, all right? I used to love pills. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Ah! Loved pills because I was 17, 18, and 19 years old. I was confused about my feelings, so I'd consume something a biker made in his bathtub. I'd <laughs> chow down on my face for a few hours and move those confusing feelings out through my arms. Yay! <laughs> Am I having a good time? I don't know. I'm trapped in a prison of my own making. Yay! <laughs> what's sweat and what's tears? But I, I guess I. Um, that one got dark near the end. <laughs> I don't, I, that makes me sad. I'm not a, I'm not a druggy person. Actually, no, until recently, actually, I, I, um, I, uh, I have an anxiety disorder, but I, I, um, if you don't have anxiety, imagine family Christmas lunch every fucking moment of your life. But, uh, um... <laughs> Like, uh, uh, because of my anxiety, I don't sleep very well until quite recently, from recommendation of a friend, I've started, just so I can go to sleep at night, 10 minutes before I go to bed, I just lean out my window and I just smoke a little tiny, I just, 10 minutes before I just smoke a little tiny, just the tiniest bit, I just lean out my window and I just smoke a little tiny, just so I can sleep, I just make a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of mess. No, just, just a little... <laughs> and I'm just hitting the gym. No, <laughs> there's spiders in my skin, but I look amazing. No, I, I've, um... I've started smoking marijuana. Now, you can tell I'm quite new to marijuana by the way that I use the word marijuana. Like the, the old Lady Jane reefer madness. Like, I'm not, um, I'm not good at weed. I'm quite bad at weed. I, but I'm 27 this year, which is too late to be trying weed for the first time. Way too late. But I've always been a late bloomer. Always, always, always. All my big milestones, all my big moments, they've always come very late in life but they've always made up for lost time. Like, here's an example. I did not have my first sip of alcohol until I was uh, 17, which is quite late in Newcastle, where I grew up, but I made up for lost time. I drank nine smirnoff double likes in a row and uh, <laughs> had to have a little lay down. Uh, um, what was his name? And then I, I, I didn't... Um, I didn't have my first cigarette until I was 18. That's quite late in Newcastle, but I made up for lost time. I smoked a packet of 25 in the one night and threw up in an above ground pool. I'm a, I'm a delight. Oh, and then um, the major one, I lost my virginity when I was 17, quite late in Newcastle, but I made up for lost time. I lost it to a guy that had a penis that could easily feed a family of four. It, it was <laughs> such a big dick, you guys. It was such a big dick. It came with a side of a garlic bread and a viennetta. Like, 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 it's, it's a big old dick, you guys. This is how big that dick was. It didn't just take my virginity, it put my virginity in the back of a car, drove it to the outskirts of town, threw it out and said, if ever you come back, I'm gonna hurt your fucking family. Like that's... That is a big old dick. I think it's the biggest dick I've ever seen, I think. But like, have you ever been back to your primary school and looked around and thought, I remember this being bigger? But I guess I... Um... I'm quite vanilla when it comes to sex. I should say that I'm quite vanilla. I become fascinated. I'm very kind of meat and potatoes, uh, in, uh, but I, I mean basic. No, I'm not fucking meat and potatoes. But that was mm, textures. But I, 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 um, 
I'm very kind of basic when it comes to sex. I've become fascinated quite recently with the idea of like fetishes, like fetishes. Like, what if you've got some sort of fetish? If you're a pervert in some way, like, when do you when do you tell when do you tell the other person? I'd imagine if you've got a, if you've got a fetish, like, you must be always trying to find the other half of this golden amulet, like trying to find your version. Like, I'd imagine, like, like I'd imagine you tell someone in the first month or so when you're still asking those questions and just talking about things like, uh-huh, I don't like shallots, and the other one's like, I want to fuck your feet, and you're like, oh. oh right. <laughs> All right, sure. Well, like, like together, or just like on them. I don't know. As long as shallots aren't involved. But we, um, I've got a fiance and everything. It's a man. It's fine. We know. I, 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 uh, I like to think of it like we're sexy criminals. But we, 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 um. <laughs> We went, like, we went to a sex shop, uh, somewhat ironically, because we talked about maybe the idea of maybe getting a sex toy, which I was against at first, because I felt like if we bought a sex toy, we would be taking away a job from a local, homegrown, hard-working Australian dick. You know, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm patriotic where it counts. But also, if, if you own a sex toy, aren't you always thinking about someone's going to find it? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're always thinking, like, someone's going to find it, someone's going to find it. Like, think about all the time I'll be out and about running my errands, thinking, someone's going to find it, someone's going to find it. I'll be out and about hit by a bus, and my last words will be like, my dildos! Like, like I, I, I don't need that. <laughs> Doing that kind of stress in my life. Like, what were his last words? Don't worry about it, don't worry. But I, I've been freaking out about the idea of like, why, why am I so scared to own a sex toy? And I think it spawns back. I had a friend in high school, end of story. No, I, I, I had a friend in blackout, awards. No, I, 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 had a, um, I had a friend in high school who when we were 15, she found her parents double-ended dildo. Correct response, correct response. That's the most full-on thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That, 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 that was years ago, and I reckon I think about that twice a week. Like, 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 <laughs> like what do you mean? What do you mean? That's so full-on. But I remember freaking out as a kid how horrific that is. That's so full-on. Because I'm very basic when it comes to sex. Like, I, I treat sex as if I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I just pick a move and stick to it till someone wins. Do you know what I mean? Just as like, like, finish him, finish him. Like, 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 like. Especially hand jobs. I'll be honest, you guys. I, be, I give a nasty hand job. I, I give a hand job as if the dick has important information. Like, where's the map? But I, I don't like. But I was freaked out. Why am I so freaked out about owning this sex toy? You know, because my friend she found her parents' double-ended dildo, and I freaked out as a kid. I thought that was so so disgusting. But the years later, I think about it. I'm like, no. No, I think it's quite beautiful. Her parents are still doing weird shit to each other. That's lovely. They've found the other half of the golden amulet. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've found their pervert. I think that is a beautiful modern take on that scene in Disney's Lady and the Tramp where they're eating the pasta. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... <laughs> Call Disney. I've got reboot ideas. That's all from me. I'm Reese Nichols and enjoy the rest of your life. Good night. Thank you.